Congressman, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Let's begin with that endorsement of Harris by former Vice President Dick Cheney. This is a lifelong Republican, once dubbed Darth Vader by Democrats. He actually said about Trump, he can never be trusted with power again. I wanted to hear your reaction, sir. Well, unfortunately, you know, I guess Dick Cheney has forgotten how he was vilified and hated by Democrats and the left. And I, and I suppose that somehow now Democrats are going to embrace Dick Cheney uh, af after they have spent, uh, you know, decades vilifying him. And I think it's, uh, you know, it's a obvious reversal, at least in perception, um, if, not, if, if not reality, that the Democrats and now Dick Cheney are joining up for endless forever wars, the military contracts just keep rolling, and our boys and girls head over to wars that uh, on foreign shores infinitum. And that's now the the Democrat Party with the help of the establishment, uh, the Rhino Republicans in Washington and all around the globe. That just uh, they, they don't care about our boys and girls. They care about military spending and the military industrial complex. That's the new Democrat. That's the new left. Uh, that's the new socialist party in charge of America. Speaking of spending, Congressman, I do want to ask you about new information coming into the newsroom this morning where House Republicans unveiled their plan to avoid a government shutdown. Can you tell us more about that plan? And more importantly, do you support it? Well, uh, as far as I know, the plan as envisioned, I do support, and I hope my colleagues will do it as well. The Senate hasn't completed their work. We don't have a reliable partner in in funding the government before the end of the fiscal year in September. So instead of doing just another continuation of the spending or a, a, even worse, an omnibus in December, let's, uh, let's work on this continuing resolution. But it, let's include the SAVE Act in it, which requires the states to verify citizenship of all voters. That's what all voters want. 80% of them, left, right, independent, most people in the country understand that only citizens in America should be voting. And if Chuck Schumer, the left, and Democrats, uh, Vice President Harris, don't want to support that, they can explain to the American people why people here illegally, uh, 10 million of them or more, brought in by the Biden-Harris administration, should be voting in our election. Let them explain that. Let's move on to the great state of Pennsylvania, your state. We know all eyes are on PA, where the debate's going to take place in three days. 19 electoral college votes up for grabs. I am curious here, Congressman, when you talk to voters, what do they need to hear from Trump on Tuesday night? Well, Hannah, I think that voters across Pennsylvania are much like voters across the country. My voters are telling me they can't afford their groceries, they can't afford gasoline, their electricity bills, daycare bills. They can't afford the daily uh, expenses of life. A lady yesterday asked me, I, she told me, I know I'm paying too much taxes, too much in taxes because I'm paying for wars in other, country, other countries while my own border is not secure. I'm paying for illegals to have cell phones, housing, food, transportation. I'm paying for them to have driver's licenses when I can't afford my own bills. That means I'm paying too much in taxes if we have that much extra money to go around for things that we shouldn't. I want President Trump to address those issues. I know that he's going to and on behalf of this voter because he understands that people are struggling in Pennsylvania to pay their bills under the Harris Biden and or the Biden Harris and soon the Harris Waltz ticket. So I, I think that's going to be the focus of his remarks and what he's going to talk to people of Pennsylvania about. We just showed a DDHQ poll. It shows they're within the margin of error, both candidates. One topic we know that's going to come up in the Pennsylvania debate is fracking. Trump says he'll support expanded oil production. Harris, now going a bit back and forth, said she supports fracking, despite what she said a few years ago. Why is this matter so important to the residents in your state, sir? Well, uh, hydraulic fracturing has changed the landscape, the economic landscape of Pennsylvania. Towns that were derelict people that could not afford to pay the bills for their farms for decades are now doing well because of the production of energy in Pennsylvania. No one believes, not in Pennsylvania or anywhere else, that Vice President Harris suddenly changed her longstanding position against domestic energy production, including hydraulic fracturing. We all know she's just saying it for the cameras right now. And, and if we, she were to win, we would go right back to the current Biden-Harris policy of America last. 
Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.